Jerry, this is the third time you've been late this week. You were needed in that meeting today. Fortunately, the deal was done, but it almost didn't happen. I'm really sorry, but I was stuck in traffic. My car was sitting in the same spot for 30 minutes. If you're getting stuck in traffic every day, then you should leave the house earlier. I know, but that isn't the problem. Today was the first time that I was stuck in traffic. And it wasn't normal rush hour traffic either. What do you mean? Today, traffic was stopped by a zebra. A zebra. Yeah, I saw it. The zebra walked right in front of my car. It was almost hit by another car. Other animals were seen on the freeway too. It was crazy. You expect me to believe that you were delayed by a zebra? It's true. It was talked about on the radio. You should listen to the report. It is thought that the animals escaped from the zoo. I'm going to have to check out your story. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. But what about yesterday? You were an hour late. Yesterday, I was driving to work when my car was stopped by a policeman. I was pulled over, and the policeman told me I was under arrest. Really? Why? The policeman said that my car had been seen at the scene of a crime. It sounds like you're making up stories. Did that really happen? It's all true. When I was pulled over, the policeman asked me to get out of the car. My hands were handcuffed behind my back. He said that my car had been seen on the camera of a gas station that had been robbed. Well, you made it to work somehow. How did you get away? The policeman got a call on his radio saying that the robbers had been caught by another policeman. They were being held in custody. The policeman let me go, but half an hour had already passed. I drove to work as quickly as I could. Well, if that's true, then I understand. But what about Monday? I remember you coming in late then, too. That was because my car was stolen. I woke up Monday morning and my car was gone. The police were notified immediately. I was forced to drive my wife's car and drop her off at her workplace, which took some extra time. I see. Why didn't you tell me? It wasn't a big deal at the time. My car was found by the police a few hours later. And I was only 15 minutes late to work. Okay, but try to be on time from now on. I need to be able to rely on you, especially for meetings like the one we had today. I promise to try to be on time, but I need you to understand that none of these things were my fault. I mean, I was held up by a zebra. How could I have predicted that? These things happened to me, and there was nothing I could do to avoid them. Yes, I agree, if your stories are true. But come on, they're a little unbelievable. Well, they're true. I hope you won't hold them against me. And this just in. The men who had been robbing the gas stations in the area have been arrested by the police. They had stolen the car of a local man. But they were forced to go on foot once the stolen vehicle was found by the police. The robbed cash hasn't been recovered yet. The robbers are now being questioned by the police. It is hoped that the money will be finally recovered from them. More details will be provided soon. So his story was true. And earlier today, some animals escaped from the zoo. 
one of the animal feeders had a seizure right when they were opening the animal cages. And the animals were released from their cages by mistake. The animals were recaptured by the zoo and they were put back into their cages. The animal feeder is now being treated in the hospital after collapsing in the zoo. I'm going to call him right now. Hello? Hi, Jerry. It's Carlos. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. I just watched the news. They were talking about how a car was stolen and how the animals were accidentally released. I want you to know that I trust you and feel like I can rely on you. Thanks. I appreciate you saying that. And Jerry? Yeah? In the future, I must be notified immediately when something happens to you. Sure. I will notify you immediately from now on. We use the passive voice when the action is more important than the person who does it. We form the passive voice with the verb to be plus past participle. My car was stolen. The object of the active sentence becomes the subject in the passive sentence. The subject of the active sentence becomes the agent. A zebra stopped the traffic. The traffic was stopped by a zebra. People think that the animals escaped from the zoo. It is thought that the animals escaped from the zoo. The doctors are treating the animal feeder in the hospital. The animal feeder is being treated in the hospital. The police have arrested the robbers. The robbers have been arrested by the police. We needed you in that meeting today. You were needed in that meeting today. The police were holding the robbers in custody. The robbers were being held in custody by the police. He said that the police had seen my car on the camera of a gas station. He said that my car had been seen on the camera of a gas station. We'll provide more details soon. More details will be provided soon. You must notify me immediately when something happens to you. I must be notified immediately when something happens to you. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.